Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. I wanna invite you. Yeah, yo, 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 what's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. Uh, welcome to another episode of Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day, a division of Crushed Grapes TV. And if you don't know by now, Crushed Grapes is a lifestyle. I am uh, I'm very happy to see you today because um, I'm actually going to be uh, tasting a wine named after me. Cap Cabernet. I know you think it's the other way around. Au contraire, mon frère. Cabernet Sauvignon was named after Cap Cabernet. Make no mistake about this at all. Today is, as you might have guessed, we're tasting a Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, the bottle is wrapped in uh, some white uh, toilet paper type of uh, material. Uh, because that's supposed to mean that it's, it's, it's sophisticated and really expensive, I think. But really, uh, we don't really give a shit about any of that. We want to know, is the wine good? Okay? And um, usually, as you know, uh, I usually open the bottle first and taste it and let it aerate and all this shit. Today, I'm just going to open the bottle right here it's uh, I got my wine key here I got the the bottle is actually um, waxed which is also another sign of a prestigious wine this is a very nice bottle but I've heard about it uh, red elephant really I'm not tasting it uh, it's a Red Elephant, single vineyard estate, estate bottled Cabernet Sauvignon from Central Valley. It's a reserve, 2017 vintage from Chile. Red Elephant, okay? And 13.5% um, alcohol by volume. So the thing about a waxed wine is that there's actual wax, hot wax, Okay, uh, pour it on the bottle instead of a tin paper or what have you. So it's a little difficult to get the wine bottle open. So what we have to do is cut around the edge. Okay, create a cut here of the wax. Yes, wax, like candle wax, that's right. Whoever said that in the back, yes. Very smart. As you can see, there's a mess here. So let's see if this is worth all this trouble here um, let's open this up i use the old school wine key here we go shall we after all that shit, I'm, I'm winded you know i need a nap but instead of that i'm going to taste this let's let's check it out okay let's give it a whirl a little twist Okay, because we want to wake up these flavors of this waxed top, uh, prestigious looking wine with a toilet paper wrap. Okay, so let's just swirl it around for a moment. This is the type of wine I think that needs to be decanted, but we're not going to do all of that. We're going to go right for it. Black fruits. Okay. Uh, not just black but red we got some red cherry notes we got some a uh, little bit of dirt as well so like stone dirt you know um, earth that type of smell uh, you've ever smelled dirt or uh, a stone you know you know what I'm talking about but also a little a little bit of funk, like um, armpit funk, yeah. But a lot of times that's good on the wine. Don't, don't, don't take this the wrong way. Bo, right? 
BO in wine is good, okay? BO on your girlfriend is bad, okay? So it's very manly, <laughs> a very handsome, <laughs> handsome one, should we say. Let's see what it takes. Hmm. Hmm. As you notice, in all my episodes, I don't have a bucket to spit the wine in after I taste it, like most wine shows that are uh, conducted by the wine swami, you know, the guy that has the wine in the bucket and he talks about the the wine like this and goes the oh, it's with his finger out like that. He's from some place far off and you know, some other realm or some galaxy far, far away or some shit like this. Or from France or from place some place like this. And he's really stuffy with the tie in his his uh, prestigious and he doesn't play any games with wine. <laughs> right? We don't do that here. This is Crush Grapes Lifestyle. We approach wines in an approachable fashion because it's about the wine. Okay, and it's about you and your palate. It's not about what everybody else says the wine is about or what, you know, wine spectator says or what Robert fucking Parker says, okay? Robert Parker tastes a thousand wines a, a month. So his palate is gonna be different than yours. So just because he said some shit is 90 points or 95 points doesn't mean it's you're gonna like it, okay? So you drink what you like. If you have a spicy palate, you drink something spicy. You have a sweet palate, you drink something sweet. You have a dry palate, you drink something dry. That's how it goes. That's, that's what wine is all about. That's what wine tasting and wine drinking is about. It's about you and me and us, okay? So, I'm talking about is here to guide you on a path to understanding wine and understanding your palate. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what the Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day is about. So hopefully this brings you closer to understanding your own palate. Once again, this is Cab Cabernet's one of the day with the Red Elephant from the Red Elephant uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from Central Valley, Chile, 2017 vintage. And if you don't know by now, crushed grapes is a lifestyle. Sip it slow, cheers. Shut up out there, man. I'm doing a tasting here. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet.